pediatric foreign body aspiration can be related to a high morbidity, mortality rate, especially in young children, and pneumothorax can be a severe associated issue. We describe a case of a 13-year-old girl with recurrent pneumothorax in bilateral bolus lung, twice previously treated at our institution by a robot-assisted bolectomy, and once again showing same signs and symptoms. At conventional thought thoracoscopy an inorganic foreign body was found to be located pointing upwards the apex. We believe this may have acted as a contributory cause in the persistence of the clinical picture, despite the surgical removal of the underlying pathology. Thoracic foreign bodies had been classified into aspirated, traumatic, accidental or iatrogenic, with the latter reduced to extremely rare events nowadays. Aspirated ones are the most frequent in the pediatric population and clinical consequences reflect sizes, location, and chronicity. When speaking about thoracic surgery in children, patients' size and weight highly influence indications. In fact, the use of the da Vinci surgical system, that can be employed to facilitate misprocedures, remains of limited experience. In pediatric age and credit in meaningful series still have to be confirmed. We presented a case of a 13-year-old girl with bilateral bolus, lung and massive right-sided pneumothorax undergoing two robot-assisted procedures and one conventional VATS bolectomy due to multiple recurrences. The latter, with the intraoperative finding of an inorganic foreign body, fishing line that appeared from the parenchymal resection margin, figure 2. The patient together with parents attributed this to a possible unnoticed aspiration when playing with bracelets years before. No surgical sutures had been utilized in the previously done robotic stapling procedures. We believe the foreign body to be the contributory cause in the persistence of the clinical picture. Despite the surgical removal of the pathological parenchyma, unlike for adults, there is no specific pediatric guideline for pneumothorax in children and most frequently applied surgical treatment follows adult data and the surgeon's personal experience. 2,3 We decided to treat the patient by means of the removal of the underlying cause, bully and blebs and pathological parenchyma and no pleurotesis was carried out. Since long-term effects of these interventions are not known in children, thoracoscopy in children is reported to be an effective approach with reduced long-term complications compared to thoracotomies, such as chest wall acquired deformities, 5 and, in this case, proved as well very useful in directly recognizing, figure 2 a foreign body that had been missed on CTs.